Welcome to Telltale Books. This video is being posted on YouTube on September 19th of 2023, which is the anniversary of the birth of the uh, well-known science fiction personality, Damon Knight. Now, Knight is well-known for a variety of, of reasons. Aside from being a science fiction author he was an editor and a critic and an educator in science fiction he was involved in science fiction fandom very heavily was a member of the Futurians with Isaac Asimov and Donald Wolheim and others eventually was married to the author Kate Wilhelm, who is also very well known as a science fiction author. As I said, he was born in Baker, Oregon on September 19, 1922, and he died in Eugene, Oregon on April 15, 2002, so not all that long ago. Some of his best known works are Hell's Pavement and the story that I'm going to talk about here. To Serve Man, which is probably his most famous story and, and the reason why I chose it to talk about on his birthday. Now, I'm not going to do a deep, deep dive into everything by Damon Knight, at least not at this time. I'm just going to do this one, um, mainly because I have so many of those deep dives going on into, into so many different authors. i got to finish some off before I start adding any more new ones. To Serve Man was originally published in the November 1950 issue of Galaxy magazine, which is issue number two of Galaxy. So it did not really have... Um, Galaxy magazine has not at this time made its big splash and uh, come into dominance of the of the field yet because it was brand new. Uh, this is issue number two, but it's it's works like this one by Damon Knight that propelled Galaxy Magazine to the top of the field very quickly. And the other things in this issue are Time Quarry by Clifford Simak, which was later published as the novel Time and Again. Honeymoon in Hell by Frederick Brown, Coming Attraction by Fritz Lieber, and Misbe Misbegotten Missionary by Isaac Asimov. That's the table of contents for issue number two of Galaxy Magazine. So it was, it very quickly gained attention because they, it was attracting the best authors and some of their best works. To Serve Man is one of those best works. Now, Damon Knight didn't write a huge number of science fiction stories. Um, for his long life, he only published 118 works of fiction. And To Serve Man was actually his 15th published sale. And he had started selling in, in the early 1940s. I'm not exactly sure where this story would be available today aside from PDFs of of this issue of Galaxy that you can find on the internet um, all the others that I'm aware of you would probably have to get used copies of um, like the great science fiction stories number 12 by Isaac Asimov and Martin H. Greenberg that was published in 1984 I bought that new so I have that um, you would have to find a used copy of it. Another really good source is 30, Galaxy, 30 Years of Innovative Science Fiction, edited by Frederick Pohl, which does have an illustration on the cover for To Serve Man, though that's not the original illustration from the magazine. And that book, again, you would have to look for a used copy, which is what I've got here. I bought a, a used copy from someone online. Very good book. Lots of great stuff in that. So To Serve Man, what's it about? It's about an alien race called the Canamids, 
who come to earth and and they are described as kind of looking like pigs that walk upright but are covered with long gray fur and they have tusks and they wear um, green shorts <laughs> um, and yes this story is a comedy it's not meant to be serious so the cannabis come to earth and they get together with the United Nations representatives from every nation on earth to make their proposal where they will introduce technologies into the world and make these technologies available to all nations which would end war and hunger and um, all the problems all the differences all the stresses that we have had in the modern world and make the whole world live at peace and all they want is for every so often a group of people to be selected to go to their planet and so everybody of course thinks this is a really great thing um, this story is so famous that I I think I could spoil it without doing too much damage to anybody but um, I'm not going to because there may be people out there watching this who haven't read the story yet and the story has a twist ending that hinges on a book that the Canimates bring with them and are seen carrying, carrying around. Of course, it's in a different language, so nobody at first knows what, it is, what the book is. So this is a typical Twilight Zone-style 1950s story, the, the kind of thing that was very prevalent throughout the pages of Galaxy and the magazine of, of science fiction, and, and which typifies what was going on in the genre in the 1950s and this one in particular was actually made into an episode of the Twilight Zone which is what makes it very very famous the story is very short very well written and has had a big impact it seems to always be on lists of what are the best science fiction stories ever written. And it is a favorite of mine. I really like it. It really blew me away. So it does get top tail from me. I wish I could go into it further, but I can't. It's a great story. Well written. Well deserving of its reputation very short so it won't take much of your time so worth it for you to track down a copy of this story online or in an anthology it has been anthologized a lot more than than just the great sf stories and 30 years of galaxy it's in a lot of other anthologies through the years and i'd be surprised if there wasn't one currently in print that has this story in it i really would but i'm not sure uh, so it's worth your time to track this down, read it, and uh, hey, leave your comments in the comments on this video. We'd like to hear what you think. Just please don't spoil it for anybody else. But what do you think of Damon Knight or To Serve Man or Galaxy in general? And so I'll cut this short, this happy birthday to Damon Knight. I will cut it short and say like us, subscribe to us, and come on back for more. I don't have plans at this time for any further Damon Knight stories. If you'd like that, definitely leave that in the comments, and I will work it into um, my future plans to make sure I read more. And I'll see you in the next video.